What's going on, y'all? It's Turtle Man back with another first gen Cummins update. Um, there it is. Um, been out here early. Um, got my washing bucket with all my brushes and sponge and Scotch Brite. Cleaned on this thing for like two hours this morning. Everything cleaned. Um, got the crankshaft in it. Um, give me a minute. Let me get this oil pan off here. Hang on a second. Okay. So, crankshaft is in. Main studs. I uh, I do not have a, a bore gauge, so I was not able to accurately measure oil clearance. But I did plastic gauge every journal, and every journal come at right at three thousandths, which is perfect. Um, I did set my dial indicator up and checked in play. I got six and a half thousandths on in play on the crank. Um, I tell you what, this ARP Ultra Torque Lube, this this black greasiness god that's some nasty shit it gets everywhere but it's good stuff so the the mains are torqued to 125 per the instructions um and i put this on here just so later i can um put a half inch ratchet in there and roll the motor over because there's there's no way to grab this um so crankshaft's in torqued uh, assembly lube all over it. I went ahead and installed the, the rear main. Why not? Just another way to keep crap out of the motor. Um, I got my factory Cummins water bypass on it. Um, went ahead and put the tappet cover on it as a Keating. Um, the, oil, the mechanical fuel pump block off plate. Um, I put all my galley plugs back in except for this one because my oil pressure sensor goes there. Um, what else did I do? Uh, yeah, freeze plugs are in. I just called Pure Diesel Power. They, they seem to have a great selection of factory stuff. So I got um, the oil pressure uh, bypass valve and regulator for the uh, oil filter housing. Um, I got an O-ring for my factory block heater. Um, I've got a new dowel pin coming. Uh, this one was still in the block. This one was missing. I'm not about to pull one out of an old block. I'll just... The dowel pin's like $3. Um, what else did I get coming? Uh, oh, I got a front crank seal with a repair sleeve. Um... This is like the only wear on the crank. And originally I had a repair sleeve on it and I asked the machine shop to go ahead and pull it off and check the journal. He said it still looked good, but because of that wear right there, the seal just, it won't seal. So I got a, it's a McB front seal with the repair sleeve, dowel pin, oil pressure stuff, O-ring, that's it. Um, I did drop two of the pistons in, no rings, I just plastic gauged them, and they were right at three thousandths as well. Um, tomorrow I'll probably start gapping rings. I've done enough for today. I'm not trying to rush this. Um, I want to keep a level head because I get overwhelmed pretty quick. I'd love to just, you know, throw this thing together and hear it run today. Not happening. We'll take my time. Make sure this thing is right. Make sure I cover all my bases. Make sure I do things correctly. Um, yeah. That's the update. Um, man, I can't wait to hear this thing run. Just can't wait. Actually, I can wait, but, you know. Um, she's beautiful. I hate that the caps are a little rusty, but... She'll be full engine oil in no time. Um, I got to run to the store and see if I can find some bags big enough to put this thing in. 
I don't want to leave it sitting out here uncovered. I mean, I'm going to stick the oil pan back on it, but there's so much dust that flies around, I'd rather stick a bag over it. Um, there's the update, though. Crankshaft in and torqued. Yeah, <laughs> doesn't sound like much, but it was an awful lot of work. That's a heavy-ass crankshaft. But anyway, I'm going to eat me some lunch. And uh, I think Jerry Springer's on. I might watch that. <laughs> um, then I'm probably going to cut the yard. But there's the update on it. Oh, and I, I... Two years ago or so, whenever I originally put my Hamilton camshaft in, I had... I went ahead and ordered a front cam bearing and it turned out it ended up being the wrong one. Well, I saved it and sure enough, it's the one that fits this block. So I did not have to order a cam bearing. This is the one that I saved. It's brand new. I put that in this morning too. So brand new cam bearing as well. Um, yeah, I'll probably start gapping rings tomorrow. Um, I'll probably come out here later and, and clean a few more parts. Um, the oil pickup, uh, stuff like that. There's the update. It's coming along. All right, y'all heard enough from me. We'll see y'all later.